hands they let go. I turn away my eyes. Welcome to Diaspora Gist, where we're going to be talking about racism in another form today. Um, we're going to talk about racism, overt racism. I'm sure we will probably crisscross into covert racism at some point. But um, with all that going on, again, um, in the world, it's very sad. The very tragic sad. death. Yeah, the tragic death, death of George Floyd. We've seen it on TV. It's um, Definitely, there's, there's a mood change, I think. Um, yeah. you know, but before we go on, I'm going to stop because not everyone may know us. So yes, that's true. Let's start so, by introducing ourselves. Yeah. I'm Owen okay, sure. Kimade. And my name Welcome. is Dr. Ade. Welcome to Diaspora Gists. If you're joining us for the first time, please subscribe and click the bell icon. We talk about issues that you know are facing our world today, and we do a lot of coaching, you know, about workplace executive coaching and stuff like that. But today, like my brother said, we're talking about racism and the effect it's had on our society. Yeah, and um, I've. You know, one of the things I don't know about you, but I've heard it so many times when people have been confronted with what they've done, or especially whites all the time, that think that they're not racist. And first thing they say is, I have a black friend. Or well, I have a black, black brother-in-law. No, I have, yes. And whenever I hear that, my, 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 my blood boils. Why? Yeah. First of all, it's very patronizing because they think you're very stupid after they've done something that is so obviously racist and then they tell you, but, I'm not yes. racist because I have... But in, and I, 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 you know, but in some of the instances... Not all the instances, I agree with you, but... They don't think they're being racist. Even though they are. I'm okay. not saying they're not. But they generally let, let, don't let, think let, they're let's, being racist. Let, so let's, that let's, brings let's, us to the two kinds of racism the obviously, you know, open racist acts that people do, and the subconscious one, okay. without let me, even knowing. Let me give you an example. Okay, I'll give you an example. A white, a white person walks into a store. Oh, they're so nice with that white person. And a black person walks into a store. And they, and start, they, to like, and they start to exact whack that person. Attack that person. And then they come and, and then you pick up. And this is what we're talking about, uh, a designer store. And they pick up a purse or something, a or purse or a shirt or whatever. or whatever it is, and they come and they tell you <laughs> that's seven hundred and fifty dollars, ma'am. And you know they would never say that to the white person. Wh- white person. <laughs> now tell me, and then you say to them, first of all, for whatever it is, they have still been hanging around you, just watching you with an eagle eye, and you know they are watching you. And then you accuse them and say, is it because I'm black? And, it's, and, it, and they suddenly become very defensive and say, how can you say that? My best friend is black. Now. It's a stereotype. You, now, a stereotype. How, are we, how are we going to ever get rid? Because I understand everybody marching and protesting right now. There are many examples. I have another example I'll tell you about. But you do realize that there are a lot of people marching that haven't been, or there are a lot of Caucasians or whites that haven't been on the receiving end. So sometimes they find it so hard. But those people are going to go back to work. No, 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 no. Maybe it's going to be different now because they're going to think about it. But thank God for things being caught on video. And they begin to see it and like, that is not right. And I think at this time, we have a lot of people actually checking and thinking is there anything i may be doing that may be racist without even knowing i'll give you i'll give you many examples i know someone who's gotten to the very pinnacle of her career and she's done everything she and her colleagues and a couple of them are are black and in the healthcare field and they've systematically always put them down despite the fact just because they are black and this why because and, and I'm, I'm, not talking of, I'm not talking of a blue collar job i'm talking of a white collar job at the yeah, very pinnacle themselves over, over themselves over clinically managerially research everything and guess but what are you you know it is not surprising even though it's painful because if you look at the stats 
out of the fortune the fortune 500 companies how many are black that's that's true four four and i don't think there's any woman right now but that's not even the topic for discussion oh there used to be a woman one indian woman that used to be for pepsico yeah 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 she's left now but so but but, 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 but you look at me that's to show you that this is pervasive listen absolutely picture that i love to see it was here in america there's a black little boy and a black white boy. And when, I don't know if you've seen it before. When they enter, they see each other. They run into each other and they hug each other. Young, beautiful boys. They, they don't see color. They just seen another human being. So what changes between that youthful uh, 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 so, child society, innocence? Society. Exactly. Society that changes. where that subconscious racism starts. Where but, a- but it's incredible. You know, what I don't understand is this. I, 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 I hear... I hear um, I've had I've had people I know very well say to me, um, it's okay to have black nannies, but then you're scared of them, and then you're scared of them when things happen. Or it's okay, or or or, or you, you take your child to private school, and your your black parent who is doing quite well, you take your child to private school, which is predominantly um, um, white, and then while you're there. First of all, it's very it's, it's very funny because I, I when I heard this, this was it's just so funny. Why are there? They're asking you if you're the nanny. First of all, that's the a black. 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 So exactly. why would you think you're the parent? Oh, you know. And then when you confront them and tell them that's oh that's my child, and they say oh no no no, they thought then they say oh they thought you are the some of them I say that you are the you are the older sister or. For example, they say things like, and, and what's going through their mind is, okay, this black kid is in, my, is in that school. And this is how I interpret it. This black kid is in that school. But this black kid must have been adopted by a white parent. A black person can never afford to. Those are, but you know, the stereotype- those are racist. Those are racist. Of, those are, I, no, you might say it's covert, but I think those but are overt me, racist let me, behaviors. Let me, let me, let me, let me I, I recently listened to. Uh, an interview by Dr. Anita, Anita Phillips. I'm, I hope I'm getting her name right. right. And she explained something that made sense to a lot of people. And there were blacks, you know, whites, you know, diverse people during that interview. And she made a lot of us understand this. That if you look at the origin of racism, it was a form of oppression. And for you to successfully oppress someone, you want to say that that person is less than you. So for you to oppress someone, for you to, you know, do bad things, it's not easy to do bad things to people that you like, that are like you. You want to separate and differentiate them. So they used to let people think that a black man, especially, was aggressive. A black man was not to be trusted. Because that was the only way they could, let other, they could make other people be evil to them. Yeah. In fact, they, from what Dr. Nathan Phillips said, they... they they actually equated them to animals. Mm. That if you look at... But, every, but, 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 let me, but, just give me two yeah. more. And, I, and if I yeah. can, I'll put a link to her video if I can get yeah. it. Because I think yeah. people need to... White, black need to watch this. Because if you feel somebody is less than you and you grew up in that society and you, people keep reinforcing it all through your childhood, all through your adulthood, even if you don't want to be there, some things you would do that... We, we grew up, look, listen, I am African, and I don't want to, and I don't want to bring the African thing, but we grew up with some of those where they say, oh, this, this culture is this, they are predominantly like this. So if you grew up in a place where they're like, oh, yeah, you hear all your life, oh, blacks, they, they, yeah, they're not to be trusted. Blacks, not, and you hear that all your life. What do you think you're going to do when you're that's, that's, that, that, that's true, that's true, but, uh, well, that's true, but so I also, I also believe... Intentionally- uh, and what yourself from that kind of thinking. But, but this is this is where I have a problem. It's very easy for to, I, I think I think it's a it's a huge problem for me. I, I think that's looking at things black and white. I think I think there's a there's a there's a there's a deeper issue here because over the last decade and a half or two decades, a lot of white people have appropriated our culture. In fact, if you think about it, the hip hop culture has grown because the white the white the the, the, the white people have embraced it but what the problem i have hang on a second the problem i have is this it stops right there when it comes to the serious issues we are suddenly relegated 
to second you class know why? citizens. Because in the music industry, we fought for it. No, but that's not yes, we know, we know but I, it has not translated. What I'm saying is that yes, because we, know, we didn't we didn't fight for that. They liked it. I'm sorry, we didn't fight for that. We we stopped no, to our no, culture. No, no, we, like we we swear we 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 do all the things that is it, they, they no, find it very very en en entertaining. So this is part of where no, where 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 I'm going to push back on that. Yeah. For a lot of there's there's a there group of people that actually disliked some of the music, not all, a particular portion of the music that denigrates other black people because they're like, if you're denigrating yourself. If we are doing this to ourselves, that's a very minority. Like I, I don't think well, that's just, that. majority of majority of black. Yeah, no, I, so, I still think that I, I'm not talking about black on black right now. I'm talking about okay. white, white. Talk, well, just, no, yeah, I, so I, I forget about, about black on black. black. What I think, and I, and I and I say, I don't. Now, the truth about it is, I'm sure, what, I'm sure. I'm sure there. I'm, what I don't understand is this, and 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 I see a lot. I've been said that I see a lot of hope in the younger generation. I think, yeah. I, that think is, I think that is where the hope is. And I and I pray that that they 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 don't see because if you see everything that is happening right now, I think I think racism will almost be like um, you know what hopefully stamped out very soon because the younger hopefully. the younger culture, maybe not in this generation, but in a couple of generations. But that's I what, think that, that, would that is you know what you just mentioned why we're still saying it. Because the people that experience racism openly are still living and connected to other people that are passive to yes, them. Yes. Without knowing. That's why I said, if you keep hearing every day, black people steal, black people are lazy, black, you, you, you there's some things that would come out of you that you would have to take intention on your part to overcome. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. It, you, 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 you didn't no, but, 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 for the whites in this regard, because we're talking about racism in this particular yeah. thing, to be intentional about how they react, how they see other people. Because if you have been... Yeah, they have to be intentional, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, because if you have been entrenched in a culture that is like that, you will do it without, you know, it comes to your mind without thinking. Yeah. Yeah, 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 they have to. They have to look inwards. I, it's not. Yeah. I don't think. I don't think it's up to us as black people to tell them how to behave anymore. I think because I think I think we are fighting for it. But I think it's, it's a bit like in coaching. You know, when you say the um, the pre-contemplative state where they're not ready for it. If you're not ready for for any change, you're not going to. There's no point in in being my client because you're not going to change. However, yeah. if you're contemplating, they wow. need to. We need to start to get. They need to start to contemplate that change now. Ten minutes not built, but thank you very much, everybody. Yeah, um, I know we'll, this is a very this is a topic I, this is not going to stop. We're going to come back again. Yeah, we need to keep having these conversations on and on and on again. But thank you for watching up until this end. Uh, subscribe and uh, you know, subscribe like on Absolutely. and you know comment below what you think because really we all need to. Yeah, have we always want to want, want to hear your comments. Your yeah. side and my side, the world is such a global system where everybody's interlinked. We cannot remain tribal we need to really be considerate of the other person whether you're white black latino asian yeah. caribbean you know all races so thank you for watching sure. i will see you and stay next. safe wash yeah. your hands wash your hands you know social distancing mask up, you, you mask up until this whole thing is all over and yeah. then we'll see you in the next episode all right bye, bye.